Hi, I'm Kristen, and I'm a scientist that studies marine animals. So coral reefs, like the one that you see in this picture, have lots of different animals in them. Some of them you can see like these fish, but some of them you can only hear. So listen closely. That sound that you hear is actually the sound of thousands of tiny snapping shrimp. Snapping shrimp are my favorite species of animal to study, and I'll tell you a little bit about them today. So snapping shrimp are tiny creatures about this big, and thousands of them can live inside a coral reef. They're called snapping shrimp because they have a really powerful weapon, their claw, which you can see in some of these pictures. You can see that snapping shrimp have one huge claw and one smaller claw. And they don't use that huge claw to pinch, but when they close it quickly, it creates that snapping sound. So here's a kind of close up of that claw. And when thousands of tiny shrimp snap at the same time, it makes this, this noise in the background. Here's a close up of the claw snapping. So when these tiny bubbles collapse, the tiny bubbles that are created by the snap, they produce a shock wave that can hurt their prey. And shrimp also use these claws to defend themselves. The different kinds of shrimp, we call different kinds of animals, different species, have very different types of claws, as you can see from this picture. And I'm really interested in why this happens. And it turns out that different species live in different habitats and have different claws. So some shrimp actually live with goby fishes. You can see this little yellow goby fish there. And the shrimp actually uses its claw, sometimes I call it a digger claw, to dig a little hole that it shares as a home with this goby fish. And that way they're both protected from predators. Other shrimp live with other marine animals. So did you know that sponges are actually animals that live on reefs? So the orange thing that you're seeing in the picture is actually a living sponge, which is a really simple animal that looks and feels like a bath sponge, but which is alive. They have tiny holes in them that the shrimp live in and the shrimps that live in there have a little brush on their claw that they use to clean the sponge. Other shrimps also have a really cool claw, which we call hammer claw. And they can use that claw as a sledgehammer to actually dig holes in solid rock. These ones are actually really hard to find. We have to scuba dive and pick up the rocks. And then uh, we actually have to use sledgehammers ourselves to break open these rocks to find the tunnels that these super powerful shrimp make. Every different shrimp species has a different combination of big claw, small claw, color, and other body parts, as you can see from some of these pictures. So there are actually over 600 different species of snapping shrimp, and we are discovering new species of snapping shrimp all the time. So your activity for today is to make your own snapping shrimp superhero. So after you make your shrimp superhero, and we'll see in a moment what that looks like, you should give it a name. So a species name is a special name that all scientists around the world, no matter what language they speak, all call the same animal or plant. Species have a first name and a second name, just like me or you. And the first name is kind of like a family name for a species. So species that are similar, like these three snapping shrimp, all have the same first name. And that second name is what really makes that shrimp unique. For example, this shrimp here, is found in Florida, which is why it's called Alpheus floridanus. This shrimp is yellow, as you can see, which is why its species name um, is uh, the Spanish word for yellow. And this shrimp was named after somebody named Javier. Often shrimps are named after people. So I can't wait to see what kind of shrimp superhero you create. <laughs>